the earliest settlers to the south. Instead of using horses, they had bullocks in the old days. And they came down here now that they were called the wagoners. They've been largely forgotten by most people, except Florence Randall, who has very strong memories of her grandfather, William Sinclair Trotter. Came out with Johnny Jones in 1840, but when he arrived, he uh, realised that the Maoris were eating the birds and the fish and the roots of the trees. What did he do about do about the fact that the Maori were? Uh, yes, so uh, then he walked up to Christchurch and caught the next boat back over to Australia and brought over the landed. Uh, the first bullock at Waikawaiti and the Maoris were very pleased to see this. They had a hangi and the Kapai white man bought us Kapai food. But with the Maoris so happy with food, uh, they ultimately took him all over South and uh, Otago and he was the first white man to see Lake Waikato. On Greenvale, they had uh, some bullocks there for carting the wool around the station to the trains or whatever, and they had teamsters. They called them teamsters, and they. Can you tell us a story about one of those teamsters who was in a hurry to get home one night? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I suppose it goes on in generations when all men are in a hurry to go and meet their girlfriends and after a very heavy day's work with the team taking wool from place to place uh, he was in a hurry and he was whipping the uh, thrashing the bullocks hard and making them go too fast and Grandad saw him coming across the plain at Greenvale and he was, Grandad was at the gate and said right I'll put the bullocks away you go and um, uh, get your bags and be off. Now I understand Florence that Fred Miller wrote a poem in tribute to these wagoners from those early days. Could you give it to us? <laughs> to acknowledge they were the wagoners they drove their teams with purpose and with skill and daunted in a roadless land those men strength and will. <sighs> Week after week, day in and day out, through swamp and hill terrain, across the heights and down the dales, in heat and driving rain, they plodded on with creaking wheels and patient bullock straining. Each mile they covered one more step with endless efforts gaining. Theirs were the tasks to open up to serve a new, the new outback. And with their wheels and straining beasts, they carved for them a track, a track that grew into a road through valleys, swamps and spurs. We honour thus their memories, the sturdy wagoners. I think I must have seen this site many times at the showgrounds, Florence. What's the memorial for? It is for in commemoration and if, there may be a lot of people don't know what that big word means, commemoration. Now we're all here for a purpose of teaching. Teaching for what our grandparents did before us. And they showed us the way. The way and how strong the bullocks were. And the bullocks were here long before the horses. And they were the masters of the country. They helped to work on the people's farms. They broke the whole land, and now, how do you feel about the memorial here, Florence? I, that, I am not very certain who's responsible of the upkeep of the memorial. Is it the ANP that should be looking after it, or is it the Invercargill City Council, or should I say the regional council? It belongs to the Southland, not just Invercargill. You'd like to see it cleaned up? I would definitely like to see it cleaned up. Great personality, Florence Randall, in her appeal to get the Wagoners Monument done up at the AMP Showgrounds. It'd be lovely to see that done up before the show. Who can help her? Well, next we have some people who like projects in South Western Southland. What's happening with the Viaduct Project? That's next.